I'm working on replacing the filters for my RO system. First thing first, uh, turn off the wall, water wall. I mount this unit from the wall and uh, drain the water completely. Okay. okay, so the water is completely drained. Now, fine. So I think one of the tricky part is how do you remove these things, right? Uh, you just have to press, uh, let me show you closely. You have to press the wall inside and then pull the pipe backwards right you need both the hands to do that okay one hand pulling it down and the other hand to pull the pipe backwards okay that's uh, that's how you have to remove it there you go and that's how it is yeah i'm going to do i'm going to replace one filter at a time because there are the, the connections are pretty complicated i want to uh, i don't want to redo everything so that's why i'm taking one at a time so i'm taking the first part of it Oh my god, this lot of water. So I finally removed the post carbon filter. Okay, I'm going to replace the um, filter with this new one. Okay, how do I do that? So this one uh, is particularly, you know, just have to remove your uh, L joints and the T joints or whatever joints you have and put it back to this new filter, right? It's not like uh, this whole piece is disposable, okay? Uh, removing these also same. You need to just pu push it down. Uh, the, the adapter can come out pretty easily. So that's one side of it. The other side, you have a lock, of, of course, the lock, you need to just remove the lock first and, and push it downwards and rip it off, okay? That's pretty easy. But this will go to the two faucet side. Okay, so the old one has a clear indication of uh, two faucet and two tank, but my new filter did not come with those uh, uh, markings, right? So that's pretty hard. So the, the, the clue I'm taking here is the flow of water, right? Uh, if I put this together, I can hold this together like this. Okay, if you see that there is a flow, I'm using this flow and taking the marking to faucet and to tank, okay? There you go, I, I wrote it with my hand so that you know when I fix the whole system, I don't want to mess it up, okay? Great, so towards the tank, I have this um, L joint. Um, I'm just putting it, it's pretty easy to fix these. This is a good part of these uh, things. Um, I can just place it like that and of course put the lock back, right? So the lock is going to put it intact. Uh, that's it I need to do. And of course the other side as well. So as I said, um, I'm gonna do one filter at a time. So now this is done, I'm going to fix it back, right? And I pick the other one. So I'm putting the post carbon filter connected to the rest of the system, okay? And this is to the tank. And of course, don't forget to put the locks. Great. So this locking system is pretty neat. Okay, so this is the whole system. So, well, um, so replacing this part, uh, the, the top ones, the post carbon is itself a need to unmount the whole unit from the wall. But the others, you don't have to actually. So you can uh, mount, I mean, uh, replace them while they are mounted to the wall. But anyways, because I, I anyway I'm mounted from the wall, I'm going to replace it uh, or here itself and then mount back to the wall all together, okay? So for that, you need a, a, this wrench, whatever wrench called, all right? Um, this comes with your product, so don't lose it. Otherwise, it's not gonna be easy to replace these things, right? Just need to um, post, um, put it inside and turn it, um, anti-clockwise direction okay and that's it yeah I think there's a lot of water that's going to come out of it once I open it uh, I need to be careful but um, I actually did not prepare for this I'm just going with my you know, first experience right still there's a lot of water in this and uh, yeah I had to be careful Drain. yeah it's drained completely so I cleaned every, uh, the whole interior part of this uh, 
mount um, using the detergent and with hand of course probably you could also do a dishwash cleaner as well I'm opening the new filter um, so yeah one of the other thing I noticed is you know this one is saying it's a post carbon but this one the filter doesn't say post carbon just say carbon but um, I'm guessing this is the right filter for this because the old one looks like this and also the color uh, matches right um, I think that's the I don't know why the heck they mentioned it as post carbon this they don't I just put post carbon here here but okay so I think that's it and I uh, don't know which side comes top and which side comes bottom but I, I think both sides look same so it doesn't matter I believe I'm just um, okay putting putting this inside the post carbon and uh, hope it is sitting properly I think so yep. okay and fixing it back okay make sure you're you're going to rotate this in the clockwise direction because we opened it and the clockwise obviously right yeah I'm going to tighten it later okay and we go to the next one water coming out of it. Oh, crap. Okay, so I'm going to take a pause and going to clean it up and come back. Okay so now I cleaned it up and uh, the new filter uh, is here. Again this doesn't indicate which way it should be pointing upwards or downwards right. So I just uh, uh, discovered uh, the, the old one is that you need to put the the way the label is right so the label is top right when uh, top bottom so you just have to put the uh, filter right in the same direction but of course before you do that you need to remove the plastic okay so plastic is removed and just place it straight downwards perfect and put it back Okay, so that's done. So the last one is the sediment filter. I'm going to open this. As usual, let me some water coming out of this. Yep, got to be careful. I don't want to drain the whole water here because this is not a water resistant platform here. I'm going to. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to clean this up and come back. Okay, I cleaned this and now we have this sediment filter. Um, I'm going to open the plastic and perfect this is pretty easy right only at this part but replacing the entire filter is not easy part right so now that i don't have any water i can actually put it on the floor and fix it pretty easily so now there's no water that's why great so now just the last part i'm going to tighten them all Make sure you tight it properly, otherwise it's going to leak. Yeah, for some reason the pre-carbon is pretty tight. That's tight enough. So with that, the, all the filters are uh, replaced except the the RO membrane filter for some reason I don't have that in the bulk order that I received I need to check if I have to probably have to replace that a little time but for now I think I replaced it everything and uh, I'll make the all connections and make sure there are no leakages and we'll mount back to the wall so the the red is the feed if you see the two feed this is where your uh, input of the water comes in um, so that's the red line that goes here okay um, so this is connected and this is the drain pipe it will go back to the um, like a drainage after filtration so the yellow one is to the tank as we know this is already marked as to tank hope you can see um, I'm gonna put this to the tank I think that's it I have every, only the blue one is remaining only the blue one if you see that's to the faucet uh, that's the only thing remaining I will connect I connected the faucet uh, connection as well and want to run it and see if there are any leakages right that's the main water inlet I'm going to turn this on water is coming 
can hear the sound. I'll check for any leaks. Crap, I have a leak here. I fixed the leak. I uh, hope this is not going. I think the fixing a leak is pretty simple. I just need to um, remove the pipe and uh, plug it tight again. Uh, that's it. It's not complicated. If I plug it loosely, then the leaks are obvious. Okay, great. So hope there are no more leaks. Oh, well, this is the old water that's coming out. Um, I think all the joints are intact. See, wow. So there are the two screws. If you see, I just need to put them um, to this mount bracket, right? Uh, that's the tricky part. I'm going to do it, and after that, we'll do the finishing.